beer review for today. We are drinking this 99 Problems. It's an IPA milkshake. A milkshake IPA. I've got 99 problems, but a beer ain't one. The can, I love, I love the colours on the can. And we've got like a 99 flake ice cream. It's a milkshake. Um, It's an ice cream IPA, sorry. So hence the ice cream's on the can. 99 flake. So it's a cool can. It's a cool can. So this is made by Doc's Beer. It's 6.2%. Um, and the tasting notes say 99 problems, but an ice cream parallel ain't one. Or whatever Ice T said. Before we turned 18, a 99 by the seaside soothed all our ills. Luckily, now we have beer. But that doesn't mean we don't have a soft spot for soft serve every now and then. It's one of my favourite ice creams, actually. Like a soft serve Mr. Whippy ice cream. Oh, so good. So good. <laughs> we have combined the two in this can. The base IPA is loaded with citra, mosaic and Eldorado hops for a hazy base. We then threw more vanilla than you could shake a stick of rock at and added a twist of sea buckthorn puree for an ultra decan decanted decadent decadent man English and good decadent lush ice cream IPA. There we go. So that sounds interesting. That sounds really cool actually. Should be nice. Should be nice. Uh, where is Olaf? Olaf is here. I'll show you him in a second. There's me. I'll show you him in a little second. <laughs> oh no, step bro. Susan's stuck. <laughs> Her head stuck in the ice in the washing machine. I can't get this can open. <laughs> right, here we go. So let's get this poured. We'll do some pouring ASMR. Oh, I've just poured beer all over my PC. There we go. Beer all over my computer. Let's tidy it up. We can use this little wipey thing here. Get that all off my keyboard. And this is why I buy a keyboard with IP rating on it. 3D show... Oh, I love the little Wii remotes. Not the Wii, but the um, the Switch rem remotes. The Switch remotes for the... Oh, that looks so cool. Right, okay. So it's really cloudy. It's got a slight orangey, ready tinge to it. It looks like um, someone's punched you in the bladder and you've been pissing blood a little bit. <laughs> that's, that's the best way to describe the colour. I know my lights aren't very good. It does smell... Smells very vanilla-y. And orangey. It smells like orange ice cream, I'd say. It smells like orange ice cream. Who has been selling piss to Alex? It's piss for the piss bag. It's piss for the piss bag. <laughs> Which reminds me, we'll be playing Dungeons and Dragons on Sunday. Um, I think it's from 8pm. Um, I'm probably going to stream some of it on Twitch as well. Probably stream some of it on Twitch where I'll show the D&D will be on screen and my, my notes. Hey, Ready D, how you doing, my good friend? And just in time for beer review. Um, so it smells orangey and vanilla-y. It doesn't taste like piss for the piss bag. Um, vanilla though, no way. It doesn't have a vanilla taste to it. So this is supposed to be ice cream IPA. They said they're throwing so much vanilla. It's a very uh, pop art style uh, can, isn't it? Very. I can't remember the artist. Oh, oh. Oh man. Lichtenstein. Is it Lichtenstein? Is that the artist's name? Lichtenstein. Is that his name? No, I wouldn't say it's vanilla at all. Do you know what? Vanilla-wise, no vanilla, even though they packed it full of very Dick Tracy. Oh, yeah. yeah. I will do it, Silent Damsel. I'll do it. We're in the middle of beer review. I'll bring it up after beer review. I did see a message. Don't worry. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't like this. This is boring. This is dull. There's no flavor to this at all. There seems to be a real glut of beers at the moment that have no flavor to it. Or, I've lost my sense of taste entirely, which could be the case. Um, yeah, it smelt nice, it smelt really nice. Like I said, orange and vanilla smell to it, but flavour-wise, nothing going on. So I'm going to give this a pour 2 out of 5. So cheers, everybody.